You didn't think I'd leave you hanging, did you? <laughs> so here we go. We got this TH350. Went and bought it from a guy who gave me handshake warranty. He said, if you have any problems, just bring her back. We'll figure it out. Don't really know what that meant, but it was good enough for me. He said he drove the truck into the shop before he pulled it. His name was Jesse, and he builds uh, wrecking derby trucks. And he says they don't use TH350s. They would only use 400s. So they pulled the TH350s out of all their trucks in favor of the 400s. So he had a, a few of these, and he's like, he said we got some good ones, and we got some cores, and then we had a bunch of other random transmissions. And he gave me, to best of his knowledge, the best one he had. We're gonna get this in the truck. All right, got the murder scene all cleaned up, got the transmission prepped, ready to go into the truck, put it in place. See this here, Buster? You make speed, don't forget it. Crazy J Classic Works, and I just got done installing the transmission. We're about to drop it down and see if it has gears. We checked the transmission fluid, had a little bit on the dipstick, so we're gonna send it. We're gonna drop her down, level it out, and check for gears. Let it roll. So it's off the dipstick, even though it's sitting level. We're gonna throw one more liter in. I have faith. <laughs> Third time's the charm. <laughs> this is real piss off, is Justin? Mm -hmm. We have a perfectly good transmission sitting right there, but it's just three inches too short. Yep, that's exactly it. And was in here and worked on the charm. Yeah. Other than that amazing drive shaft that I made. Right. So I think it works well. Yeah. Redneck ingenuity sometimes we need. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> I used up all the Canadian fluid I had on that one I installed two days ago. Yeah. So. I haven't done any transmission work since I put the transmission in the uh, in the uh, 66 in power, so I just don't know that I have any of these. I think actually I scored some and I did bring me down some. Yeah. Well, okay, then I have some. Because I don't know. I'm a shipless hobo and I like to steal fluids from people. <laughs> I'm a fluid thief. <laughs> 
between farts and the fluid things that we talked about. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna try to, I don't think we're all too worried about it. No, I, I'm, I always try to pay my debts. Even when you say, oh, no, don't worry about it, I got that from this, 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 and that, I'm like, oh, no, I don't know how it works. No, since it is still in the transmission, dip, uh, dip, it's still in the dipstick tube, we're going to fire it up and check it. I think it was... Because we, I put all my spare fluid into that dud of a one we installed two days ago, I don't know if this thing has enough fluid in it. We didn't hurt it now by firing it up for a minute and a half. So we're going to take a pause, walk down to Crazy J Classic Works, and see if he's got any transmission. Because being a mooch is the cheapest way to go. <laughs> <laughs> a little shot of hooch. That's good. Look around, buddy. This is Shelly's shop, everyone's welcome. Except for Ronnie, what a nice Ronnie. <laughs> I don't know who Ronnie is. You see the key for this, that boy. Not as good. So we're gonna add, my buddy Josh here picked me up some, uh, some more Dextron 3. We're gonna add some to it until we can see it on the dipstick. I just don't. 
I got this really bad habit of turning. Is that smoke coming in? Yeah. <laughs> it's just cold, so it's coming back. Good for your lungs, Josh. Good for your lungs. This is the clone of my people. <laughs> Nicole says she can smell Buster when she's been outside with me all day. Oh, she knows when I've been working with Buster. George is really just inside. Well, he is, I mean, look at this, okay? Whenever anybody gets into a differential, you can smell that oil and you don't have to be here. You can yeah. see it and you can smell it. You know what's worse than that? Uh, uh, transom fluid from a boat. Yeah? Yes. That's yes, as the French would say, horrible. Or read this. Yeah, coming from a French guy. <laughs> Man, some of my best stories ever were from French people. They're so fucking funny. Just nice. Just really nice people. It's full of life. That, that's not accurate. The tube probably still has some fluid in it. I'm gonna sit in it and uh, put the part that right here. Yeah, I might as well dry it and kill the normal here. That transmission 100% did the trick over the welded drive shaft that he had with the short shaft transmission. But at least now I know where I can get a short shaft transmission if I blow mine in my 66 impala. Straight back to show the shaft. I'm pretty sure this is driving me to another direction. I'm pretty sure the shocks are still sears in it. Oh, really? They had stopped making sears, stopped making shocks in like. 1986. Yeah. That is right on the money. You can't argue that. All right, we're going to take this truck for its first death run with this new transmission. We did back it out of the shop and drive up down the street like 200 meters. It seemed to work all right. Let's give it a right proper tour around the block. walking their dog. Oh, it feels, feels all right. 
so far. Just uh, it is nighttime here. It's Friday night. My buddies all came over, and I'm just trying to scramble and get this done. Scrambling to get this truck together for the for this video because I let you all down in the last one. What a crap shoot it was trying to find transmission for this truck that I trusted. Everyone said, "Oh yeah, ran one parked." <laughs> Pretty much had to go get a police report to, to get the guy to do a police report before I bought this one. Yeah, it's dropping gears, shifting properly. We're gonna take a little rip out of town here. Not too far, just far enough. That light does not want to stay up. Oh, second gear. That's a good sign. I'm not romping on it. I'm going about 40 kilometers an hour, which I think is about 25 mile an hour. The dash lights don't exactly work. We're just driving. Kicks down nicely. We're on dirt. All right, guys, I can't see anything with all these lights on. I'm gonna shut you all down because with all this light in here, I can't see anything. I think that was a successful first little rip with the new transmission. I got a good feeling about this one. The guy um, got it, I bought it off of, seemed really trustworthy. He said, if you have any problems, bring it back and we'll sort it out. So that's always a good sign. Oh. I like that. I like that a lot. See a driveway here. Gotta love that. too hard so you guys don't fall over like <laughs> this is a solid truck this truck has been sitting for i don't know how long honestly like the brakes brake lines all have tags on them they clearly went to canadian tire and just pulled them off pre-made ones off the line off, off the racks but they're old i don't know the whole story in this truck i couldn't talk to the owners of it and to me getting the back story is important I don't think the brakes were done terribly long before they parked the truck. And I can tell that the truck had been sitting a really long time. Yeah, this is a good feeling. I can't describe it. I've had put three transmissions in this truck. <laughs> in, so two in one week. This, I just, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm, I've got a shit eating grin on my face. I am through the moon with it. Yeah, it's still a, it still smells really bad in here. Can't wait to get the next video out. We're pulling up here. My entourage is waiting. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the delay on the actually driving the truck. Cheers. Hey, get that piece of crap off the road. <laughs> we are off the road. <laughs> <laughs>